What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to put lights in your Revit project. Lights are very important when rendering inside because it really enhances your renderings and it can also enhance your outdoor renderings if you turn on the lights inside your house. Lights can be a little bit tricky to put in and a little bit tricky to get to work cor correctly. In this video I hope I can help you to put in lights and hopefully they work for you. So, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a ceiling wherever you want to put your lights. I made a video on how to do ceilings, so if you want to go look for that, you can do that, or I'll just show you real quick right here again. So what you do is click the architecture tab, click ceiling, and then you have this automatic sketch option. If you want to select that, it will put a ceiling around your whole house, as you can see with this red line here, or you can just sketch a ceiling you can just draw wherever you want your ceiling so if you didn't want a ceiling in a certain part of the house you wouldn't need to put that so since I already have a ceiling I'm not gonna draw one in this video so I'm just gonna click the X here as you can see here I already have some can lights in these I put in before the video just to save some time and now I'm gonna put some lighting in um, by my kitchen so what I'm gonna do is click on the ceiling plan and click first floor my kitchen is right in this general area right here. So what I'm going to do is click on component and I think I'm going to put in some more of these recessed lights. So I'm just going to choose the one I want. I usually choose the 277 volt just because it helps with renderings. It gives it more light as you can imagine. Um, so I'm just going to click that. And all you have to do is make sure you're on a ceiling of course and then just click wherever you want the lights and I'll just try and keep them in line with these right here I'm not real worried right now if they're in line or not so then what I'm gonna do is put another row of them right here and in the old versions of Revit I'm pretty sure I could just copy these but now for whatever reason Revit 2014 and maybe older than this too it gives you this error message cannot cut out instances a little way to get around that is instead of copying them just select all of them and then use this mirror tool so you can either use the pick access one or what I usually do is just draw the access so you click the draw access tool and then you just draw an imaginary line and it will mirror them for you so that's the easiest way I found to move and copy lights I actually want a couple pendant lights in there so what I'm gonna do is go to component and in my project they are already preloaded but if they're not you can go to load family and then scroll down under lighting and then architectural and then you have your exterior lights here and your internal lights so choose whichever part of the house you want to do and since it's inside I'm gonna choose internal and then I have a whole selection of lights here that I can look through but since mine's already loaded I'm gonna click cancel and I'll come down here. Once again, I'll choose the highest volt one here. And I'm going to click on it. And these are also the same. You just click and place them wherever you want. And now I'm going to come here to my kitchen view. And as you can see, I have my lights in my house now. So what I'm going to do is render this real fast so you can see what it looks like and uh, to render you click on view render and then it'll bring up this box here you can change the quality settings you can change the resolution if you want it to be print resolution or screen and there's a whole bunch of settings but I'm not gonna mess with them the only thing I am gonna make sure I change is the scheme I just want to make sure that I'm on the interior and I'm only gonna use the lights in the house nothing from outside so I got that selected and I'm gonna click render here okay now as you can see it has finished rendering and it's just draft quality so it's nothing big but um, you may notice a few problems with this rendering now a lot of times when I put in lights they seem to turn out really 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 dark or appear to not even be on at all so I'm not exactly sure why that worked for me this time so and you will also notice here that these can lights that I put in they don't even look like they're on but yet there's light coming from them the only real way that I've that I know of to fix that is to export your rendering right here instead of saving it to the project 
and if you export it and bring it into a photo editing software like Photoshop or GIMP or whatever there's other free options out there you can just put a little dab of color there and it will make the renderings look a little bit more realistic so as you can see here the lights did not turn on well here so I just took this in Photoshop and added a couple dots here and it made it look more realistic so if your lights do not turn on well what you want to do is click on the lights that don't appear to be working if these can lights don't work for you with so if you click on them and then click edit type there's a bunch of different things you can change here like the volts but that doesn't really do much so what I do is scroll all the way down you're gonna see these different settings right here and what I do is come here to the initial intensity bar so that's what I look for I click on that and then here's a bunch of different settings you can change so we can either bump up the wattage it's like 200 um, and you can change the efficiency so I usually try and make those identical 200 or what I usually do is the illuminance um, what I do is you can bump up this number right here so you know just do that or what you can do is change the distance of so this will make the light shine farther so this works if you have like a vaulted ceiling and you want the lights to shine down farther so what I can do is make this 20 or whatever then I'll click OK and OK again and we will see if this affects the rendering so I'm just gonna save this that was before the change and now I'll render this again okay the rendering is now done and as you can see that is very 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 bright so maybe we went a little bit high on that but you just kinda have to mess with it another thing you can do is click adjust exposure and you can take this whole thing these sliders here and make them darker see that helps just make the whole rendering darker and then you kinda get the same effect but you'll notice more of a shine on other things like that so I'll just click OK here and I will save this one as well and we'll look at both of them together right here's the first one kinda dark and then here is the second one and you can just see that it makes the whole house lit up better and I think it looks better when the house is lit up like that if you have any questions just let me know in the comments so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video